fees are you? Did a mother still? Did a mother still? Did a mother still? Did a mother still? What's going on guys, welcome back to Maz Productions and in today's video we'll have an instalment of the brilliantly worded series Mazza Predictions. In this series we of course put our neck on the line and predict any big upcoming fights. This weekend we have the Jake Paul vs Ben Askren boxing match which has in recent weeks become a much more highly anticipated fight than what it was to begin with. Uh, it surprised me they've done a good job business wise of capturing the attention of the MMA community. So just quickly before we get into the video, please comment down below your predictions for the fight and if you are new around here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So before we even get into analysing the fight really, uh, it's a simple fact that we can state before a single punch has been thrown, Jake Paul will be the more refined boxer. I mean, his technique will be better, whereas Ben will, regardless of how it looks, he's not trying to make it pretty. He's just probably going to try rough Jake up, see what he's made of and try to throw him off his game plan. So Ben is an experienced and highly trained athlete in combat, but he's, he's, he himself has never been a great striker. His whole game plan in MMA was to find a way to get his opponent on the ground, and he'll, he'll openly admit that. But with that being said, he has fought some of the best strikers in MMA history, like Lima, Robbie Lawler, the list goes on. And with that being said, he'll probably be able to manage his gas tank better than most people and be able to keep composed in under situations where most people would crumble and that's something that Jake Paul's previous opponents clearly haven't been able to do and with that being said I think Ben is well aware that he's at least not going to be able to early on go punch, punch for punch with Jake uh, in the early rounds so he's he's more likely to want to take Jake into the latter rounds and see how he holds up if things aren't going his way uh, if if he doesn't get that early knockout uh, and I expect to see Ben utilising clinches, uh, it's obviously not rocket science, he is going to know what to do in a clinch a lot better than Jake and it will also be a good tactic just to stop Jake from building any form of pattern or momentum. And now on to Jake, like we said earlier, we can safely assume he'll be a better boxer in terms of his techniques, his shots will just hold more power and have more of a snap to him and in fairness he does seem highly dedicated to boxing at the moment. Whether that will be the same if he takes a beat in here, I'm not so sure. But from the data we have, we know that he does seem dedicated. He has a good coach in BJ Flores and is in camp with some highly experienced fighters. People have challenged for world titles. So so having that experience and that energy around him and it, just the environment in general, it's obviously going to have a positive effect on his progress. And with that all taken into account, I believe we've reached a stage where I cast my final vote on who's going to win this fight. Prediction. So for this fight, like most, if, if I'm honest, I'd, I'd probably lean towards wanting Ben Askren to win. I, Jake, Jake Paul's a bit of a tosser, but he does provide us with a lot of content. But uh, yeah, when I've removed the bias of wanting Ben to win, I, it's pretty clear Jake will reign victorious. I mean, Ben is an experienced athlete, but he has also come off a two-year layoff for a 12-week fight camp after literally just having a hip surgery. And when when I see him on the pads, I mean, I, the pads don't show everything, but it's quite clear boxing isn't his forte. And he, he's the guy that would win in a street fight against Jake within about 30 seconds. But under the boxing rules where he can't shoot for a takedown, the shots will add up and Jake will TKO him. I, I predict somewhere between round four and six. That being said, if Ben can weather any early storms and drag Jake into the latter rounds and just make it a fight, then we could see Jake take a lot more damage than he anticipates. But I, if I'm honest, I still probably don't see Jake ever losing in this fight. But yeah, do you agree with us? Let us know in the comments down below. If you disagree and you think Ben will win, just let me know why in the comments. And if you agree with me, uh, yeah, just let us know in the comments if you have anything to add to my points. But yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. As always, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, please don't forget to hit the like button. And like I said, if you are new around here, please don't forget to hit subscribe. We're trying to hit 700 subscribers by the end of the month, so any help will be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching once again, and peace.